Welcome to the Freedom Fighter Times. Make sure you check out our exclusive content, our exclusive movies, by signing up today. Find out more information by going to freedomfightertimes.com slash info. Finally, the truth is going to come out. Flint, Michigan is under siege. Their water is under attack, and not many are talking about it. Finally, as of yesterday, this was reported, militia in Flint, Michigan have joined calls for justice in water crisis. Flint may have seen multiple rallies in recent weeks um, that called attention to the city's water crisis, but few, if any, were as surprising as, as a rally held by the volunteer militia. On Sunday afternoon, about 30 militia supporters clad in camouflage gear and bearing Don't Tread on Me flags gathered outside of City Hall to demand accountability amid a national discussion over how the city's water supply became contaminated. We're here to defend this community, said Matthew Kroll, the militia's executive officer, addressing the crowd in a full camouflage outfit with a handgun strapped to his hip. We're not going to allow the government to step on the people of Flint any longer. He added, if it means having to take up arms in defense, we will do that as well. Politically, the militia may not seem to have much in common with past leaders who have called attention to the crisis, including filmmaker Michael Mora or civil rights leader Jesse Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. The militia's Facebook page is filled with proclamations of gun rights and also bears posts favorable to armed militia that have been occupying an Oregon wildlife refuge. A handful of people in Flint, in the Flint crowd on Sunday were open carrying pistols. Ooh, whoa, scary. Some of those disagreements became obvious when Kroll told the group, this is not a racial issue. Unlike some people last week tried to say, it's a human issue. Which is that's very true. Actually, it's a tyrannical issue. It's a government corruption issue yet again. U.S. authorities distorting tests to downplay lead content of water. Really? That's just disgusting. Water authorities across the U.S. are systematically distorting water tests to downplay the amount of lead in samples, risking a dangerous spread of the toxic water crisis that has gripped Flint, Michigan, documents seen by The Guardian show. So you're telling me that people want to blame this to be a racial issue. No, it is not. This is not just a direct attack on Michigan, even though it seems that way. Everywhere across the United States of America, there is an issue of some sort relating to a crisis, whether it be water or food or contamination or corruption. It's all tracing back to literally one freaking big ass word. It's called tyranny. Because they are stepping on the people. They're trying to control the populace. How do you how do you do that? It's real easy. They take away the water. What are we witnessing in Flint, Michigan? The water is contaminated. It's been poisoned. The con- and then they're covering it up. To make it even worse, the controversial approach to water testing is so widespread that it occurs in every major U.S. city east of the Mississippi, according to an anonymous source. With extensive knowledge of the lead and copper regulations by word of mouth, this has become the thing to do in the water industry. The logical conclusion is that millions of people's drinking water is potentially unsafe, he said. Really? Documents seen by The Guardian show that water boards in cities, um, sorry about that, that popped up on the screen, including Detroit and Philadelphia, as well as the state of Rhode Island, have distorted tests by using methods deemed misleading by the Environment Protection Agency. There is no suggestion that the EPA regulates have been, uh, regulations have been broken, but the agency's guidelines have been systematically ignored. We are drinking contaminated water east of the Mississippi. I wouldn't be surprised if it's west, too. Shocking days are ahead. I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. God bless and carry on.